Hi guys, so this is the first video about the simulations. So today I would like to talk about the introductions to final element simulation with Abacus software. So I'm Dr. Go Wan In from Faculty of Civil Engineering and View Environment University, Tun Hussein On, Malaysia. Okay, so first we need to know that Abacus software is a finite element analysis software. Okay, and then Abacus CAE. After you install the Abacus software, you have a Abacus CAE. So this is the complete Abacus environment for modeling, managing, monitoring, analysis, job and visualizing results. And it provides interface with the solver. So here we have two solver, which is the Abacus Standard and Abacus Explicit. So Abacus Standard is a general purpose final element analysis module. And Abacus Explicit is an explicit dynamic final element analysis module. Okay, so Abacus CAE is a pre-post processor. Okay, and then the solver is Abacus Standard or either Abacus Explicit. Okay, so if you open the Abacus CAE, so you will see this, okay, so you will see this. So this is where we are going to simulate. So the module menu in Abacus, if you go to the module of in Abacus software, you can see that you have part, property, assembly, step, interactions, load, mesh, optimizations, job, visualization, and sketch. So, this is the nine parts that we are all going to use, which is the part. Part is for you to create the part geometry. So, you are going to use this part to draw all the geometry needed, the part needed. Okay. And then the properties is the part that we are going to define the materials, define and assign sections to the part. Okay. So, we are going to define the materials and then the sections such as homogeneous. Okay. So, assembly. So, after you create many parts for that structure okay then we need to assemble it so assembly is the position the parts for initial configurations and then after that we are going to create the step step is define the analysis step and output request and then after that we are going to have the interaction setup interaction is define the interaction with the uh, behavior for surface in contact such as the uh, support and then the surface in between the structures and then let's say we have the reinforcement in the concrete then we need to use the embedded okay so next we are going to apply the load so apply load is you can apply apply load and boundary conditions okay example is pre-described displacement of loading pin so in the cube simulations that you're going to have it in the next video so i'm going to show you how to do this okay the mesh the mesh here we need to de discretize the part and then we need to mesh it to small elements which is the uh, final elements function so we are going to learn also the mesh density study which is the convergence study also in another videos okay so job so after you create all this step part property assembly step interaction load and mesh then we need to submit the job means that we need to submit for analysis after you have done your model okay we need to submit and then we can manage the job and then we can monitor the job and then we can analysis the job so once the job complete then you can visual you can go to the step of visualization visualization is you can examine the results you can see the videos you can see the graph you can see the failure and so on okay so that he this slide we are going to talk about what is the function for abacus standards so you can see that this is some example of it and then the final element analysis mainly for standard is for static stress displacement analysis linear dynamics linear or non-linear dynamics heat transfer acoustic mass diffusion steady state transport problems multi-physics analysis okay and then for explicit is include the final element analysis software is for simulation of high speed dynamic events such as the product of drop tests, quasi static metal forming simulations, thermal mechanical with adi adi adiabatic heating effects, adaptive meshing using ALE, coupled Eulerians, Lagrange. Okay, so 
you can go to the abacus manual and then you can study what is the abacus standard and abacus explicit and then unit of measurements in abacus software it does not has any specific units for measurements and therefore a consistent set of units should be employed by user this you must be very careful when you do the simulation mostly the errors and then the inaccurate data you found the results are based on the unit of measurements mistake okay so here you can see that we have had four categories so when you use meter you need to follow this column when you use millimeter for the dimensions you need to follow this and you, when you use feet you need to follow this and when you use inch then you need to follow this so for me i prefer to use this way i always use this which is the length is the millimeter so everything i draw i will base on the millimeter means it's a two uh, the beam with two meter long then i will going to draw two thousand millimeter okay and then the mass is in ton so this one you need to be careful the it is not in newton it is not in kilo newton uh, kilo uh, kg but it's in ton okay so one ton is one thousand kg okay and then the times is in second the force is in newton okay not kilo newton and then the stress is in mega pascal not pascal yeah so it's mega pascal and then the energy is in angel and then density is ton over millimeter cube so you need to calculate and then input the value based on this unit okay so if you calculate if you input anything wrong then your result will be wrong okay so checklist for finite element modeling for abacus cae okay so the mandatory part which is it is a must for you to do is part materials sections section assignments assembly steps and then boundary condition is usually required which is true okay so and then we follow by load mesh and jobs all this i will show you the example in the cube simulations okay and then after you complete the simulations you run and then you found the, uh, the analysis being complete then we need to have the post process the result upon successful completion of the submit the job so obviously obviously check for correct finite element calculation including the check in post boundary conditions check for consistency of deformed shape and then check for order of the displacement magnitude and then check the symmetry of the stress view and then check for run out materials data yield okay so you need to check all of this and then see that whether the result is correct or incorrect okay so this is the difference between the finite element procedures the manual calculations and also the finite element software user steps so for the finite elements procedure you need to select the solution domain you need to discretize the continuums choose inner polations functions derive the elements characteristic matrix and vectors assembly elements assembly elements characteristic matrix and vectors solve the system equations and then make additional computations if desired and then the software user step is you draw the model geometry okay and then you mesh the model geometry and then you select the element types either is uh, linear non-linear okay and then the final element software was written to do this input material properties and then the computer will assemble it input the input specified load and boundary conditions and then com the compiler will solve it when we run and then request for the output and then we need to post process the result means that we're going to extract the results okay so next is the hands-on tutorial so before we i show you the cube simulation in next video then let me explain to you hands-on the tutorial that we are going to use okay so for the next video i will going to show you how to simulate the cube okay and then this is the example cube then we need to put in the boundary conditions the material properties okay so the material purposes here actually i'm simulate uh, form concrete cubes with the mega pascal seven uh, the, str uh, the stress the compressive strength is 7.5 mega pascal and then the tensile strength is 0 0.87 mega pascal modulus yang is 12,000 mega pascal 
density is 1600 kg per meter cube and then the poison ratio is 0 0.2 however the value of this you need to check and then convert to the unit that abacus is going to use like density we are going to use the ton over millimeter cube that i mentioned before okay so this is the concrete damage plasticity okay so uh, there are many plasticity uh, behavior in abacus so i selected concrete damage plasticity for it and then for this uh, materials then we're going to use this dilatation angle eccentricity initial by axial unit axial low, uh, ratio the value of k and viscosity so this one you can get it from the previous study also but then for this compression behavior and tensile behavior this one you need to conduct in the experiment where you need to conduct the cube test for the compressive behavior and then for tensile behavior you need to conduct the split tensile test how to generate this data it will be another separate videos uh, on how to create this data they what you need to have a data then i will show you how to do this okay so this is the example data i'm going to use so you can remember this and then when you do it for yourself when you do your own cube test you can use this example data okay so for the material properties they are going to enter so you can see this this is an example material properties so please wait for a uh, please follow by the next video on how to simulate the cube so the introduction about the abacus simulation is until here thank you